Go team. It's Friday. It's Friday. So, warm up. Three rounds for time. Um, or three rounds in a seven minute window, essentially. We've got 30 seconds of calories on your machine. Okay. Round one, you're going to go at an easy pace. Round two on the machine, a little bit harder. And then round three, a little bit harder again, right? So, uh, 30 seconds. Then we go um, one round on each leg of the, the lunge matrix that we did the other day. So one full round of one leg would be three normal lunges when I step forward, my front foot's flat on the floor, my back knee is on the ground, okay? So three forward, three out to the side where I send my bum back, shift my weight slightly into my heel on the, the leg, on the outside leg, three to the side and then three back to roughly 45 degrees, okay? Three on one side, <coughs> of each stage, and then three on the other leg, in each stage. Three forward, three to the side, and then three out to 45, okay? On each, um, on each leg, that's one full run. Then we got five and five, single arm, dumbbell deadlift, okay? So, all I need to see, you can go on the inside of the legs, on the outside of the legs, I don't mind. Now, let's go both heads to the dumbbell, okay? We'll warm up that full range of motion. Slight bend to the knees, big hinge of the hips, dumbbell, heads hit the floor, keeping the chest tall. Slightly bigger bend to the knees than normal, because we are going lower to the ground than we would if we had the barbell. Okay, try to keep that back flat as possible. <clears throat> so three rounds of that, 30 seconds of calories, one full round of the lunge matrix on each leg, and then five and five, single arm deadlift. Then what we're going to do is we're going to spend a bit of time and um, running over the movements in the workout, okay? The movements we got are the dumbbell snatch, some calories, and then the power lunge, okay? Now, if we did the, the clan wars workouts, you did heaps of these. We had 50 in the workout, good job. Some of us thought that the double head hitting the floor was a new standard, that blew my mind, okay? That is always the standard from a dumbbell snatch on the floor. Both heads hit the floor every single rep, okay? So both heads. Set myself up, big proud chest in, hips back. From here, I'm going to stand. I'm going to extend my knees and my hips at the same time. Powerful. And then I pull, and then I punch. Okay, the idea is I make this dumbbell feel as light as possible by being aggressive with my hip extension. Okay, looks like this. Punch overhead, lock the arm out. I can swap on the way down. Touch both heads, pop and punch. I can swap on the floor, I don't mind. Both heads touch. Pop and then punch. Get into a rhythm with it, okay? Play well with it. Get comfortable where you're going to swap hands, um, where, <clears throat> where both heads hit the floor, okay? Get used to that. Try not to miss the ground, try not to go one then the other. Easier for your wrist and for your rhythm if you can get both heads to touch at the same time, okay? So play about with things like that. It might come down to where your hand is on the handle. I know there's not much room, but if your hand's at the very back, closest to you, when I return that, the front head wants to hit the floor first, then the back one, okay? If I go to the front and then come back down, I find it doesn't tip so much, or you can go back in the middle. Little things that just make your workout that little bit more efficient, okay? So play about with it. That's the power line, the power snatch. Eh, uh, dumbbell power snatch, sorry. And then you got your calories, and then your power lunge, okay? So power lunge, you did these in the warm-up, it's just we step forward, back knee hits the floor, front foot is flat, trying to keep that front shin vertical. Push through the front leg, stand tall, squeeze bump, and I'm away. Okay? Easy. <clears throat> so play about with those, get comfortable with those, figure out what rhythms you're going to use, what speed, and we'll have, uh, we'll figure it out. Then, we've got three rounds. Okay, three rounds, extended warm-up, four dumbbell snatch, four lunges, and then four calories on your machine, but you're gonna sprint that, okay? Sprint the four calories, you're gonna rest 60 seconds. So again, three rounds, four dumbbell snatch, four lunges, four calories, sprint, minute rest. Wait roughly three minutes so your heart rate comes down a little bit, and then we get into the workout. Okay, the workout, 15 minute AMRAP. And your job is to get as high up the chain as you possibly can. So your reps increase by three. Okay, so we start with three of each movement, six of each movement, nine of each, 12 of each, 15 of each, 18 of each,
so on and so on and so on, okay? Now you can see that your reps are gonna get quite big, quite fast, okay? So pick a pace that you can hang on to for the 15 minutes, yeah? This is one where it gets harder every round. You're welcome, right? So, <clears throat> dumbbell snatch. Now it's not on each arm, so three reps your dumbbell snatch would look like this. That's one, that's two, and that's three, okay? And lunges, same idea. That's one, two, and three. Okay, make sure on your lunges, if you want to move fast or whatever's going on when we're tired, that we step out wide enough and the front foot is flat and I stand to full hip extension. This does not count, okay? And if we start doing these ones, they just get real inefficient, your quads are gonna explode. Now the difference here is, if I'm not stepping up far enough, my knee shoots forward, my heel lifts off the ground. It's not a strong position to press back to. Make sure we step up far enough, front shins pretty much vertical, push through that flat foot, then I stand tall and squeeze my bum before I go to my next round, okay? So 15 minutes, three, six, nine, 12, 15, so on and so on and so on, as high as you can in a 15 minute window of dumbbell snatch, calories, and power lunges. Now if that wasn't enough, okay? Then your finisher is you've got a death by hollow hold, okay? So minute one, you're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Minute two, you're gonna hold for 20 seconds. Minute three, 30 seconds. Minute four, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, and then a minute, and then you're done. Because you can't hold for a minute and 10 seconds in a minute, okay? So if I see any of those scores on the board, you're a liar, right? So, <clears throat> your hollow hold, what I wanna see here, you can make this as difficult or as easy for yourself as you want, right? But the idea is, get those feet together, point those toes, and lie flat. Now from here, I'm going to extend my arms up over my head. I'm going to bring my heels up off the ground a tiny bit, trying to suck my belly button through into the floor so my lower back is on the ground, and then I bring my shoulders up. And I'm going to hold here, and press my arms away from me, hold here for 10 seconds. Now instantly, my whole body starts to shake, okay? Because I'm trying to create as much tension through my whole body from my fingertips to my toes as I possibly can. And then, if that's too much, I can do the pretty much the same thing, but this time I have my arms down by my sides, okay? If this gets too much, again, I'm sucking my, my belly button down to my lower back to the floor, I can bend one leg, and then I can get to halfway through my time and I swap, or if I need to, I can bend both, if this is too easy, I can pop the hands back over my head, makes it a little bit harder on my abs, okay? Um, if that gets too much, um, and you still want to work your core, maybe your lower back's a little bit sore from the workout, just hold a plank, okay? And we can make that plank a little bit more intense by getting yourself from here, normal stage, to over on the tiptoes, shoulders in front of the hands, pressing through the floor, and that's just going to put a little bit more stress through my core, okay? So that's just a little finisher, a little core exercise at the end, and um, just to work on the abs, that core strength before we get home. If we are doing this from home, same idea. <clears throat> You're going to do the finisher at the end also. Um, the only thing that changes for your workout is your calories change to uh, burpees over the dumbbell. Okay? Let's get it, guys. It's Friday. Weekend's almost here. Woo!